Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Jigaily and Lots video, and I'm taking time off of work to do this, so <laughs> let's get right into it, huh? There's a brand new Mana Spiral coming out for, uh, and, 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 oh man, I really do not want to pronounce her name, because it's going to just sound so wrong. Anelli? I... <laughs> her name is, uh, let's go with Anel, huh? Let's go with Anel. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound any better. Ann Lee. Ann Lee. There you go. Her name is Ann Lee. There you go. Um, this is a unit I've been looking forward to getting a mass spiral. She's a super old unit, so they're going to have to do a lot to hopefully make her worth it. Especially since her old mechanic was energy, and energy is 100% dead thanks to Nihility. So, let's get into it. Uh, stunning display. Shareable 3, deals damage to the enemies directly ahead, draws them together, dispels one buff from each target, inflicts stun and paralysis, increases the entire team's energy levels, and activates skill shift to the attack and next. This skill shift will cycle through a total of 3 phases. Phase 1, damage 22 over 1 hit, damage is 1800 over 1 hit, 3000, and 51 when it's just used by you, and 11288 when it's a shareable. Spell effects, dispels buff, energy level plus one, charges one, stun lasts seven seconds, paralysis lasts 13 seconds, phase two, damage is 22, damage is 900, skill energy required is the same, dispels buffs, energy level plus two, charges one, stun lasts seven seconds, paralysis again, and finally we have phase three, which is damage 22 over three hits, damage is 790 over three hits, and the rest is the same. Smiles on parade. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead, increases the entire team's energy levels, and immediately readies a stunning display skill for use. Very nice. 190 over 10 hits for 10,000 skill energy, but the fact that it immediately readies this up is the reason why it costs so much. HP is 15%, so that's her co-op ability. Chain co-op ability is light energy equals strength 10%, so basically useless um, if you're under Nihility. The Sugary Star, this is her first ability, increases damage to stun enemies by 10%, and when HP is 70% or above, increases attack skill damage by 35%. Jesus. Also using stunning display will grant the user a strength vamp, max level 2, 30 seconds. They made sure to include the caveats here beforehand. Potent uh, poison resistance 100%, and energized strength 25%, <laughs> increased strength by 25% for 15 seconds. When the user is energized again, dead ability in Nihility content. So let's see, I think they actually have improved on her a lot. The skill one being giving, having the ability to inflict stun, paralysis, dis and dispel one buff. I don't think Light has very many units that dispel a buff. I want to say Halloween Laxie is maybe one of the very few Light units that dispels a buff, and she is not going to be seen again for six months, so good luck on trying to get that one. And I forget who the other ones are. But it's typically not a um, thing that Light usually has. Um, I was seeing some people say that I think that this stuff right here that she does, the stun paralysis and dispelling one buff, is really going to be helpful in the... Um, I forgot what it's called. I keep wanting to call it the Trials of the Mighty, but that is not what it's called. The Sinister Dominion. Uh, because apparently you need to either stun, use paralysis is very useful. I think stun might be useful. And also the ability to dispel one buff is extremely useful. So the fact that she has all that and then the cost is only like 3,051, that's cheap as hell for something that dispels one buff and inflicts like stun and paralysis. You can basically have it on loop. And also with Smiles on the Parade, it makes it that much easier. Um, I think the only bummer here is the fact that energy is dead. There's really no reason to use energy units in Nihility content. In non-Nihility content, she's going to be fantastic. She's going to be super strong. I'm hoping that this skill 1 is good enough to kind of let her be usable in that kind of stuff, along with her, like, buffs and stuff. Um, obviously from having the new stats and stuff like that will help her kind of shine a little bit more in new content and she's super good um because i think if she did not have energy based stuff i think she could have potentially been one of the best light units for this element which is spear i believe it is what it is i keep only calling it a harpoon because it looks like a harpoon to me um yeah i definitely think she has like the the, the stuff 
I think she has enough for what is a support. <laughs> it's a support unit that actually feels like she's built to support. She's like, no, I'm here to just constantly give paralysis and maybe potentially stun, and also I'm getting rid of these buffs. That's what you need from a support unit, to be honest. You don't need them to be crazy powerful, you just need them to do their job. <laughs> and they're good to go, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I think they've done a good job on her spiral. I'm not going to be using my Omnisite, so I'm going to be doing it the hard way. And getting her that way. Um, but I look forward to the eventual, eventual completion of this. Because this is again a unit that I've been kind of waiting for for a very long time. To get a spiral. And I also, just as a thing for Dragalia in the future, I really hope that they find a way to get energy back. It seems kind of messed up that energy units kind of got short shafted just because a couple energy units broke the game and it required them to either nerf energy. I don't think even energy was that. Uh, you can actually tell me. I always was always under the impression that energy was not a great mechanic um, and it kind of got screwed over by uh, by the Nihility changes, when they basically wiped the board with everyone, and I thought it was- they were just like a side effect of trying to get rid of Karina. Um, where it was only Karina and only Karina and only Karina. But some people were saying that Energize was also a very good way to kind of get your crit stuff going and dealing a lot of damage, so I don't actually know on that one. I always saw it as someone in my skill level as something that wasn't that good, but feel free to tell me if it is. So, that's the end of today's video. If again, if you- <laughs> end up liking this video, uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, tell me how you feel about um, this unit, because I don't want to say your name. A Anna Lee. A no. Ann Lee. Ann Lee. If you have a way to say her name, please leave it down below, because I really don't like... I really don't... <laughs> Ann... Okay, let me see. Okay, let me now. Now that it's at the end of the video, most of you have clicked off, and the, only the true ones, the ones who left a like, are still here with me. Anne? Ellie. Right, right? This part right here is Ellie. E L I. Lie. E lie. Anna Lee lie? <laughs> Alright. E lie. Well, it's also possible that the E is a silent E, and so this is just lie. So, Anne Lie. Anne Lie. But she's French. So, wouldn't it be like, Allez. See, that's what makes me think that it's. kind of sounds like the other word. Anne. Maybe it's on. On a Lee. I need to go back to work. Thank you guys for watching the video. Until next time.